Craig is 72. Who's Craig got all the flowers, the fake flowers? Pardon? Who's, who's Craig with that? With more flowers oh. to that? <laughs> it's fresh. One, uh, it's fresh. It's fresh? Probably. Oh, plastic. Yeah. That one there, he was a lawyer. Uh, one of the um, prominent lawyers in the country. Mac Wellington Tadman, QC. I'm from up this area right here. There's a lot of resorts up on the hills, right? Oh, chicken. Homes or resorts? Homes. Homes? Homes and apartments and so forth. Now right here, uh, this is the site where the Proclamation of Emancipation was read, oh. August 1st, 1834, okay. where 5,133 slaves were freed from the British slavery plantation system. The proclamation was read by the same gentleman I just told you that owned the fireproof building. As a result of the slave being freed on that day, the first Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in August is when we have a festival. Up until 1954, each church used to take turn and do the celebration. But in 1954, a festival committee was formed and they started doing it more in a worldly way. In the back, we have the Elmo Stout High School, once known as the BVI High School, renamed Elmo Stout High School in 2005, after the longest serving principal. served for 18 years. Here we have the Legislative Council Chambers, House of Assembly, Supreme Court is on top. These four guys there, they were members of the, from the first up to the eighth parliament. Supreme Court. High school. Yeah. The Elmo Stout and that, this is a photo of him right there. High school. High school. Oh, high school. <laughs> After he retired from being the principal there, he went into politics. Oh. But he's back there now as the truancy officer. Oh. Truancy, truancy officer. I wouldn't want to go to school you're bad. <laughs> when you're bad, you have to when, go to When he, when he, they didn't the thing with him, right? When he hit you one strap, you got hit five times. Wow. Because that's how it used to vibrate that much that you get five times. Yeah. And each of them used to be the same. Same spot, <laughs> same Damn. intensity. Yeah. Now you wouldn't know, would you? Can I? Yeah, I got some of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how many people in the, in the high school total? Uh, we we okay. have approximately 1,500 students there now. Oh, wow. We, uh, this is the... UP Cineplex have five cinemas, bowling alley downstairs, fast food restaurant, we have executive restaurant and all of that. And upstairs, coming soon, we're going to have skating ring and ice skating also. Joseph Reynolds O'Neill Botanic Gardens. He passed away Valentine's evening of 2004 at the age of 94. Wow, everybody here has an idea. Then we have the Enid Scatliff Pre Primary School. This school was named after the first female chief education officer. When you Move from this one, they go right next door to the out there, Scatlet Primary School. That one is the largest primary school in the entire BVI. We have our sports complex right over here. And Sunday, we would have Judge Mattis come in there to speak to the youths. Really? Uh, Sunday? Yeah. Sunday. He doesn't take off on Sunday? Oh. <laughs> well, his coming here is being sponsored by the Ministry of Education. I see. So he flies in from where usually? Florida or what? I don't know where he's at right now, but he wow. should be here maybe around Friday or 
Saturday. Wow. It's the Judge Act TV. Here we have the low estate sugar works. This was originally a cotton mill. Oh. The ships from England just used to come in there and take the cotton back to England. They would make material and then the material would be, then be resold here to merchants here. So you still have a sugar plantation? Sugar plantations we had also, yes. Here, now? Now? Now, no, not, not okay. anymore. They're all real estate. Real estate, yeah. It's all real estate. The first set of slaves to be set free were slaves on a plantation owned by husband and wife, George and Mary Nottingham. George. And that was on the eastern end of the island. And right now, the descendants of slaves that were on that plantation have first preference in purchasing the land there. Property. We have a hotel right here, Treasure Isle Hotel. Over on my right, we have the Moritz Marina Inn, the largest yachting company in the BPI. They're celebrating 41 years this year of operation. The guy who originally started, that company started it with just two yachts back in the 60s.